You understand that once this hearing has established Roger's permanent placement status, his welfare will forever forward be determined by this court. I understand. And you've consulted a lawyer? Look, lady, I get what I'm doing. The kid's not mine anymore. I'm not proud of it. It's not something I can change my mind about either. We're ready to see you now, Roger. Dad? Dad, I didn't know you were gonna be here. You know, the Angels are only one game from the pennant. Can you believe it? It's just like you said. Sorry, boy. Dad? Hey, Dad, did you hear what I said? Where are you going? Daddy? It's not all over the place. It's nobody's fault. I tried to see angels. I really tried. I guess without angels helping, this team doesn't have what it takes. Maybe I just don't have what it takes. If we can still win without the angels, it can happen. Maybe. Give me a minute, kid, and I'll be out to take you home. Don't cry. Hey. I'm Ranch Wilder, the voice of the angels. I know who you are. I hear you on the radio. You sure do have a big chin. Everybody's a critic. So what's your name? <laughs> JP. Well, JP, that was a tough loss today, huh? Knox took it pretty hard. He was getting kind of crazy out there. Because Roger couldn't come. I get it. So Roger's sort of lucky, is that it? He sees the angels, the ones who help out. He prayed for them. Real angels? Yeah, but I don't see them. And Knox, he sees them? No. Roger has to tell them when they're around. Really? 